In previous video, we learned already what is direct variation and joint variation. So please refer to video 1 and 2 before you study inverse variation. In this video, we are going to discuss the meaning of inverse variation and learn to determine the relation between two variables for an inverse variation. What is inverse variation? Let us look at the example below. If you spend more money on food as you will have less money in your wallet, why? So when you write the variation y varies inversely as 1 over s. Maybe you confuse with direct variation and inverse variation. Last time we learned direct variation y varies directly as s. When the value of y increase, the value of s also increase. Today, we are going to learn inverse variation. Y varies inversely as S. So, when the value of S increase, the value of Y will decrease. So, when we write in equation is Y equals K 1 over S or Y equals k over s both we can accept okay because k multiply 1 is k so you can write y equals k over s to know further let us look at example 15 charming tags part in a 42 kilometer marathon the table below shows the relation between time taken by charming and his average speed that the change in average speed if the time taken increase by two times. B. Decrease by 1.5 times. Okay, when increase by two times, so you refer to the time here. If uh, the time at the beginning is 4, so times 2 is 8. So here. So when you draw the table and write the value of T and V, you can do like this. T, we have 4 and 8. So 4 and 8. The value of V, you just copy from here. When T equals 4, V equals 10.5. When T equals 8, V equals 5.25. So, you check the table here, when the time increase by 2 times, so means times 2. How about the value of V? The value of V actually decrease 2 times, divided by 2. 10.5 divided by 2 is 5.25. So, the conclusion is, when the time increase two times, then the average speed decrease two times also. That is inverse variation. Okay, B. Decrease by 1.5 times. So to how to find decrease by 1.5 times? So you check here if 6 divided by 4. 6 over 4, you will get 1.5. Right. So, you can draw the table like this. 6 to 4 is divided by 1.5. Okay. So what happened to the uh, V? The value of V when T equals 6 is 7 and 
the value of v 10.5 when t equals 4. Okay, so here you can see increase by 1.5 times. So time 1.5. So what is the conclusion? When the time decreases 1.5 times, then the average speed increases 1.5 times. So means if one of the value decrease, another one of the value will increase. After we learn what is inverse variation and how to write in equation form, now we learn how to draw the graph. For the graph of y again, s is a hyperbola, like this. The first graph, y again, s. The graph of y again, 1 over s, is a straight line that starts from the origin, which is s not equals zero why s not equals to zero because when one over s if i substitute s equals zero it will become one over zero and one over zero the value is undefined now we look at example 17 two quantities s and y vary based on the table on the right by using a suitable scale, draw the graph of y again 1 over s and shows that y varies inversely as s. Before we draw the graph, we find the value of 1 over s. Okay, So the value of 1 over s here, the first value s is 2. So 1 over 2 will equals 0 0.5. 1 over 4 equals 0 0.25 and so on. Okay, so here by using a suitable scale, according 1 over S here, the highest value is 0 0.5 and the lowest value is 0 0.1. So for the scale, we will start from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. For the value of y, the number is from 1.6 to add. So we can start with 2, 4, 6, at and 10. After we draw the axis of 1 over s and axis of y, now when 1 over s is 0 0.1, y equals 1.6. So you plot it, 0 0.2, 3.2. So 0 0.25, 4. 0 0.5 at after you plot all these four points you draw a straight line pass through these four points and you will found that the line is passed through the origin so conclusion the graph of y again one over s shows a straight line that starts from the origin hence y varies inversely as s. Now we look at question number one. It is given that y varies inversely as s and y equals 6 and s equals 5. Okay, when you see the variable is at the bottom and at the above, you can see 1 over something means is inverse variation. Okay, so A express Y in terms of S. So, as usual, you write the variation into equation. Y equals K over S. 
and you need to find the value of k, so you substitute the value of y and the value of s. So the value of y is 6 and the value of s is equals 5. So 6 equals k over 5, k equals 6 times 5, k equals 30. So finally, you express y in terms of s, y equals 30 over s. Okay, so all these procedures same as direct variation. The difference is only the beginning here. Uh, inversely, so 1 over s. Okay, the other the procedure or are the same okay so after you get the equation of y equals 30 over s now you can find another value of y when s equals 15 so you substitute s equals 15 into the equation okay so here 15 right so y equals 30 over 15 y equals 2. Question number 2, it is given that y varies inversely as square of s and y equals s when s equals 2. Express y in terms of s. Okay, you must remember if inversely what happened, it will become y varies inversely as s square 1 over s square this is inverse variation first step y varies inversely as square of s you write like this next write the equation y equals k over s square and substitute the value of y and the value of s so value of y is at and the value of s is 2 so at equals k over 2 square so k equals at times 2 square, k equals 32, and the complete equation is y equals 32 over s square. Okay, quite simple, right? Okay, now we calculate the value of y when s equals 12. Use the complete equation, you substitute the value of s equals 12. So y equals 32 over 12 square, y equals 32 over 144. So you simplify it, y equals 2 over 9. Now we look at question number 3. It is given that p varies inversely as square root of q. Express p in terms of q. First, you must know P varies inversely as square root of Q is like this, 1 over square root of Q. Then only you can write the equation P equals K over square root of Q. Okay, so now you need to find the value of K from the table. You need to find the complete value of P and Q. You cannot use this part, 6 and M. Okay, you use the front one when P equals 12, Q equals 4. So that you can find the value of K. Okay, so now you substitute into the equation P is equals 12 and Q equals 4. So 12 equals k over square root of 4. So 12 over, so 12 equals k over 2. k equals 12 times 2 equals 24. So the equation is p equals 24 over square root of q. Okay, after we have the complete equation, then only we can find the value of m. So now you can see, Find the value of m when p equals 6, then q equals m. So you substitute both values into the equation. p, this one you substitute with 6, and q you substitute with the value of m. Okay, so 6 over 
uh, so 6 equals 24 over square root of m okay so i move over this divide opposite of divide is multiply so 6 times square root of m equals 24 now i move over 6 so opposite of multiply is divide so square root of m equals 24 divided by 6 square root of m equals 4 okay still remember square root when move over to opposite side what happened it will become power of 2 so m equals 4 power of 2 m equals 16 that's all for today don't forget like and subscribe my channel see you